welcome to Farmer Code. My name is Raphael. In this video, we will be talking about the top programming languages in Canada. This idea for this video came up when I was replying to a comment asking me about what programming languages to focus on. When I replied to the comment, I realized I might have not done good justice to the question because um, it might, a lot of things might have been lost out of context so I decided to make a full video talking about top programming languages in Canada. I would also be specifying these programming languages based on industry um, so that it can, you can have a better idea on what programming languages or what frameworks to focus on depending on what industry you are interested in. Uh, a bit of my background, if you do not know, I trained as a pharmacist and then I switched into software development um, sometimes later in my career and one of the challenges I faced was trying to figure out what programming languages to focus on or to build my skills on. Okay. So at this point of this video, I'm going to like to stress out that the most important thing when it comes to software development is understanding the basic concepts of programming. So things like your for loops, your conditional statements, all the loops, so for loop, while loops and all of that, your conditional statements, your variables, your types, basically all the basic concepts of programming. So once you have all the basic concepts of any programming language locked in, you technically can pick up any new language and learn it in no time. However, when it comes to getting a job, you need certain programming languages and certain frameworks. You need them under your belt to be able to get certain jobs. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the top programming languages in based on industry. And so, per adventure, if you have certain industry in mind that you want to work in, then you can know what programming languages and what frameworks to focus on. So for front-end web development, um, the number one framework to learn is going to be React and the second one is going to be Angular and the third one is going to be Vue. So I would say you just need to pick one basically or two, um, but React has the most, the highest number of job postings followed by Angular and then followed by Vue. So to increase your chances out there, you probably can learn React and Angular, but if you don't React basically, you you have a higher chance of getting a front-end web development job. The second one, so the second um, section is going to be back-end web development. So if you are a back-end developer, the number one framework in Canada you probably want to learn is .NET. So that's on the C, on the C Sharp side of things. Um, C Sharp .NET framework, C Sharp programming language .NET framework. It's practically has the highest number of job postings in Canada, followed by Ruby and the Rails framework. Um, there are quite a number of Canadian companies that use the Rails framework. Um, number one is going to be Shopify, and um, quite a number of other companies that actually works in the company that also uses Rails as well. So one of my previous jobs. And so, um, Rails is pretty much common. Um, right now, in my current company, I work with .NET, so .NET is pretty much common. So I would say .NET number one, Rails number two. Um, Laravel takes the third position because PHP is also pretty much common in Canada and they pretty much use Laravel framework a lot. Number four is gonna be Django framework and Django is pretty much common on the Python side of things, followed by Flask, and the fifth one is going to be Node with Express.js um, on the back side, on the back end um, side of things. Okay, then for enterprise applications in Canada, number one is going to be C Sharp with .NET framework, with .NET generally, and uh, number two is going to be Java with Spring, with the Spring framework. Um, so those two frameworks pretty much take the enterprise application space in Canada. Um, for mobile developments, for mobile application development with Android, on the Android side of things, you're looking at Java and Kotlin. Um, on the iOS side of things, you're looking at Swift and Objective-C. 
and for cross-platform development so basically you build one you write one code base and, can, and it can be deployed across android or ios and you're looking at react native so react native is the number one framework to learn if you want to do cross-platform development followed by angular native and then flutter is pretty much becoming common these days in job postings but i would say number one is going to be react native number two angular native and then number three flutter so for desktop applications you are looking at on the windows side of things that's a no-brainer you're looking at c sharp with net on the os x side of things you are looking at objective c and for, for cross-platform desktop application development you're looking at electron um slack is a very popular company a very popular application that is built on electron so um so that's that about the desktop development then for artificial intelligence and machine learning you are definitely going to look at python python has the highest number of um, job postings for ai and ml and r is also pretty much common as well and then for internet of things so for ioc embedded development electronics basically all programming that is related to talking directly to the metal you are looking at c c plus plus and rust Basically, those three um, would appear in any job posting that has to do with IOC, Internet of Things, Embedded Development, Electronics, and the likes. So, you want to up your skills when it comes to C, C, and Rust. And then, in the gaming industry, the number one programming language is going to be C. A lot of gaming industry use that, as well as C. Sharp. And then, for mobile development, for mobile gaming, you're looking at Java. Um, as the number one programming language for in the gaming and for the mobile gaming industry. So I hope this short video is able to shed more light on what programming languages to focus on while we are um, trying to break into the Canadian development market. Another thing I would also recommend is um, once you identify what industry you want to break into or what industry you want to focus on and then you know the programming language and the framework that is in use the most you want to also um, up your skills on those programming languages and frameworks so there are tons and tons of platforms to learn programming languages and frameworks there are quite a number of them i can't mention them all there are youtube tutorials you can look at the official documentation of these programming languages and frameworks to learn from there and then once you up your skills you also want to make sure that you build projects so you build both basic and advanced projects in with these programming languages and frameworks and then make sure that you host them publicly on platforms like github specifically such that you can share your github um, url in your resume and so that when hiring managers and recruiters look at your resume they can see a link to these projects that you built and then they can use that to kind of have an idea of your skill sets or your skill level with this programming language and with this framework. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, let me know if I missed out any industry and what programming languages are in use in that industry the most or in job postings about that industry. And um, yes, see you in the next one. But for now, bye, au revoir, au revoir.